Hey Potter's House family, it's Pastor Michael and I'm back for our growth check. And this year has been a year of growing. It has been since September of last year has been a year for us to grow in the word, to grow in Christ, to grow in the things of the spirit. And uh, so today we're back with Growth Check, and I want to continue to remind you of the resources we have to help you grow. You can go to pottershouse.org slash grow to check them all out, but one of my favorites is Right Now Media. So many different ways that you can connect to resources, so many different ways to help you grow in your walk with Christ and in your relationship with Christ. Go check them out today. You can get a free account through our church account, and it is going to bless your life. It'll bless your family's life. There's kids shows on there. It's going to be amazing. Today, I want to talk to you out of our theme verse for the year, our theme chapter for the year, John 15. And in verse 1, Jesus simply makes this statement. He says, I am the true vine. And he goes on to say, my father is the fine, fine dresser. I think it's important as we are growing and as we are searching to bear fruit that we recognize what vine we're connected to. The reality is in our... Um, style of living in America, in our cultural context, there are a lot of vines that we can get connected to that do not bear lasting fruit, that do not bear the fruit that Jesus loves. Your job can be a vine. Your, your, the church can be a vine. Ministry can become a vine. Um, uh, worship can even become a vine. There are things that are always looking, the, the devil is always looking for a way to replace Jesus in your life. And whenever you feel like you're getting sustenance or affirmation or you're getting affection from something more than him, you're finding your needs met in something more than him, you need to do a vine check. And you need to see where are, where am I connected? Where is my fruit coming from? Jesus used this phrase, I'm the true vine, which indicates there can be false vines. Your money can be a false vine. Your job, a false vine. Your marriage, a false vine. Ministry, church, you name it, it can become a false vine. But if we're going to bear true and lasting fruit, if we're going to grow in and up into Christ, we must be connected to the vine. Father, I thank you today for these folks that are listening and being a part of Grow and what you're doing in the earth in this season and what you're doing in the Potter's House. And Lord, I pray that as they are going and maneuvering and navigating through their life, day to day, stop for 30 seconds and just do a check on how they're connected to the vine. You are the true vine. And we pray against every vine that wants to take your place because we want to bear fruit. Because in our bearing fruit, you are glorified. We give you thanks. We honor you. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Hey, do me a favor. Grab this video, share it with your friends, let them know about all the other growth checks so they can do a pulse check on their growth process with the Lord and the Holy Spirit. We love you. We'll see you next time on Growth Check.